Well, hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. And not that long ago, I did a live stream where I talked about this printer, the Magic Candy Factory from Cadges International. And I, I got to unbox it and try to print from it and try to figure it out. And a lot has happened since then. First of all, I'm able to print custom models. Look at that. Look at that. That's the best Benchy you've probably ever seen, right? At least the best candy Benchy you've ever seen. The other day in the 3D printing Facebook group I'm a part of, I posted a picture of this candy Benchy being printed and it just went crazy. Hundreds of people liked it and I had a bunch of comments on it and I feel like I needed to do an update to the live stream I did on this printer. So that's, that's this video here today. You can see I've got some other designs here that are printed. Here's a there's a gear. That's a custom gear. I'm actually working with Devin from the Make Anything channel, and he's gonna create some custom gummies for me, and I'll print them out, and that'll be awesome. But until then, let me tell you about it. So this printer is actually manufactured by PrinterBot, and you can use Cura to slice the models. It just takes these custom settings. It's, I think it's 210 on the X, it's 140 on the Y, and 100 on the Z, and the extrusion width is 1.2 millimeters. That's all you need. The filament isn't actually filament, it's gummy candy. It's a dairy-free, vegan, all-natural, tasty bit of candy that comes in what looks like a syringe, but it's not actually called a syringe because if you talk to kids and have their candy come from syringes, that's probably not gonna go over too well. So don't call it a syringe, call it a zummy. And inside the zummy is gummy, gummy zummy. These zummies get put up here to get heated. There's a heater block in here and it gets quite warm. I'll replace this one. This one's been heating for a while. And once it's been heating for a while, the consistency changes and it's able to be pushed around a bit and pliable. From there, you take the top off, you put it into the machine and you load it like that, and then you're ready to go. I'll tell you what, let's print that Benchy and I'll time lapse it for you. How about that? All right, the print just finished. The, the head's backing off and, well, let's, let's get our Benchy. Let's get our Benchy out of there. Come here, Benchy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It is a masterpiece. Wow. I mean, have you ever seen a better Benchy than that? Don't lie. Don't lie. Oh, look at that. Let's see. There we go. Look at that. That, that is a Benchy right there. This is a gummy medium, so it's not able to withstand a lot of weight on its own. It's not very load bearing. It's, you can tell it's a boat. You can even tell it's a Benchy if you look in the back. I'll put some high res photos up, obviously, so you can take a look at this a little bit closer, but it's a gummy Benchy. Granted, it's not highly detailed and it's not, true to what the model looks like exactly, but it's neat and it's nifty 
and it's tasty. And I think that's where we're going with this. This printer, this isn't meant to be uh, a consumer model in everybody's basement where they're testing the limits of the printer. This is meant for retail installations. This is meant for malls across the world where people can order uh, a little gummy animal with their name next to it on a card or a cake topper or something like that, pre-made models that actually take advantage of what this is and don't try to test its limits. Don't get me wrong, testing the limits is fun and it allows us to make stuff like this. So, I don't know. I think, I think this is interesting. I think this is fun. And I think interesting and fun are, are what's going to take this industry forward and it's what's going to get more people interested in it. So don't judge the merits of this printer's ability to print a Benchy. Judge it on how fun it is and how tasty it is. Right, well, the print's done. We do need to take the Zummy out. And it's as simple as that. It's a one-time use. So models and things you print, uh, you, you want to have them try to take up as much of the Zummy as possible. You can see there's a little bit left there. Uh, what I can do is break off the tip and I can extrude it out because it's still, it's still very hot. Oh, and you might be wondering what this is. You can kind of see that's a little heart right there. The way that this is designed, because it's, it's for retail installations, when it primes the nozzle, it spits out a little heart with the idea being a child or whomever has ordered their candy thing. They can just eat the, eat the nozzle priming bits while they watch their candy creation being made. That's really all I got for this one. I just wanted to give you some more information about this. I, I wanted to update you because I did figure out how to print custom models. Uh, I still wanna show you how it can take a selfie and turn it into a gummy selfie. That's kind of fun. And what I might do is hold a contest to see who could design something for this machine to print. And then I can print it, that's coming up. Um, well, until then, hey, keep it fun, keep it exciting, get others into 3D printing by any means possible. The future looks bright. Hug each other more, I love you guys, as always. High five.